Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, we are attaching the lid to the rest of the blanket box. Now, you may wonder why do I have a whole video just for attaching hinges? Well, I'm not using ordinary hinges. I'm using the so-called torsion hinges that have a mechanism right here at the back that prevents the hinge from opening and closing uh, or moving uncontrollably. Basically, you need brute force to close it, as I shall now demonstrate, or open it. Uh, so these hinges are perfect for applications like these when you have a lid because you need that brute force to make it open or close. So the lid is not going to uncontrollably fall down in case you lose your grip. And if you have your fingers on, uh, on the surface of the uh, blanket box right here, a falling lid will definitely hurt a lot. So these hinges would be perfect for it. Uh, now, the one challenging thing about this is that I am going to be creating a little recess so that when the hinge is closed, everything lies flat. Uh, I mean, if I attach the hinge to the surface as is, uh, the hinge has about four millimeters of thickness to it, so the back side will be raised and the front one will be slanting down. So I don't want that. I want to, as much as possible to preserve that flatness. And that's why I am going to be creating a recess on both sides because I'm going to have two hinges. And I thought, you know, that might be somewhat interesting for a video. Uh, if I have time, I'm going to be sanding the entire project, getting it ready for the final finish, which would be my last video of the series. Now let's get to it. Let's do a little layout, uh, some measuring, and then uh, use the router to remove that excess wood material that we don't need.
So I got myself in a little pickle because as I was screwing in the long screw, the head of it broke. And now the screw is in, the head is out, and there is no way to get things out. So right now what I'm gonna do is enlarge the hole and hopefully with a pair of pliers I would be able to uh, unscrew the screw uh, and then drill a bigger hole, uh, put a nice dowel in it and then drill the dowel later on. So let's see how that one goes. The surgery was a success and now the dowel is gluing where the screw was previously sitting and this is the screw that was inside the wood and I'm gonna bring a close-up picture with my square so that you can see the full length of what was inside it was about 2.1 centimeters inside the wood so what I did with my little drill is enlarge the hole around the screw and then use the pliers to twist it out of its place. Uh, so right now I'm gonna leave things are to properly cure and tomorrow I'm going to attach that second hinge and hopefully I'm not gonna have any other additional screw problems <laughs> or screw ups. <laughs> Uh, so in the meantime I'm going to call it quits for this particular video the remainder of the project is me sanding and you've already seen me do that quite a number of times so there is no point in boring you to death in my next video we'll be actually applying the finishing oil onto the wood so stay tuned for that in the meantime if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on patreon all the links are down in the description and there you have it i installed the second hinge and i installed the lid and let's check it out there my hands not supporting anything again my hands So this is the beauty of those torsion hinges, it doesn't let the lid fall down uncontrollably and hurt your fingers in case you're just holding on to it. So again, like I said, next video we'll be putting the finishing oil.